Number 5 Mosley Old Hall One of the two homes on our list that Charles II used as the haven for after the royalists were routed at the Battle of Worcester in 1651 is this magnificent Elizabethan home. Prior to fleeing to France, the heir to the kingdom had to wait it out by climbing trees and posing as a field worker and servant. Six days after the battle, Charles came at back at the entrance of Mosley Old Hall to be housed by the Catholic White Grey family. Number 4. David Austin Roses The renowned rose breeder David Austin has developed a variety of rose cultivars that, like contemporary roses, bloom repeatedly. However, they also have the fragrance and aesthetics of vintage garden roses like Damask and Gallicas. Austin founded David Austin Roses in the 1950s, which combines a plant center and rose garden. Number 3. RAF Museum Cosford this museum at the Royal Air Force Base in Cosford will be a paradise for everyone who is captivated by aircraft, both military and commercial. The exhibitions cover the entire history of aviation in four sizable hangars, Hangar 1, Test Flight, War in the Air, and Cold War. Number 2. Bantock House Museum and Park This rural mansion, which sits in 50 acres of grounds, was built in the 1730s but underwent its last significant renovation at the beginning of the 20th century. It was then owned by Bantocks, a prominent family of business people. Thomas Bantock, their last heir and a two-time mayor of Wolverhampton, gave the estate to the city upon his death in 1938. Number 1. Whitewick Manor Whitewick Manor, a must-see National Trust property, is a magnificent example of the arts and crafts and aesthetic styles of the late 19th century. Theodore Mander, a wealthy manufacturer from Wolverhampton, placed an order for Whitewick Manor, which was constructed over two phases between 1887 and 1893 in the half-timbered vernacular style.